Good morning, everybody. Not on the patio today. It's a little too wet, but welcome to our home. We'll start morning prayer in three minutes. Hope everybody's doing well today. The rain is coming down. So we are not. We are inside. Trisha's here, Amanda's here, and I don't know who else. So welcome. <clears throat> Nice to hear all the rain coming down. It's much needed. And isn't it nice and cool out compared to what it has been? Yeah. <laughs> we'll start morning prayer in about one minute. Welcome to everybody. Good morning, Jenny. Okay, how are you? Hope you are well. Hope all are well. I think there was something fortuitous in uh, Mother Betsy's timing to suspend the Wednesday morning service today <laughs> because I think it would have been called for rain just like Sunday mornings was. Definitely. So, uh, uh, maybe, that, maybe that's how we get rain is to schedule an outdoor service or something. Uh, who knows? <clears throat> We're just glad for the rain. Much very needed. Much, very, very much. So it'll enhance <laughs> the garden and it'll be even more flowerful when, uh, when we go back out on the patio. So we're about to get started. Good morning. I'm Jeff and this is Sally Stillings, Church of the Epiphany in Richardson. We're so delighted that you're with us. Um, Sally would like to introduce our possible guest appearances that may be uh, happening this morning. Sally? So, my daughter Kathleen has moved back in with us until she's able to find a job along with her cats. So, if you hear some running around or meowing or somebody comes prancing across the back of the couch, that would be Buffy or George or Fred. <laughs> so, yeah. Off so we go. Those <laughs> Those are our guest artists for today. We we don't get to include them when we're outside, but uh, this is their uh, romp and frolic time in the morning, and we're kind of in the middle of their playpen. So uh, here we go. So we will be using our prayer book and our hymnal, and starting on page, I'm sorry, we're supposed to do schedules first. Schedules, 8 o'clock in the morning, every morning, at Except Sunday and 8 o'clock in the evening. 8 o'clock in the morning is morning prayer. 8 in the evening is Compline. And 12:10 uh, is noonday prayer every day except Sunday. Uh, and we have outdoor worship in the east parking lot Saturday evenings at 7. And Sunday morning worship at 8 in the north parking lot. And prayers every day. And food for network. Is always needed. I, we don't have a account for last month whether we made it to our um, to our 3,000 pounds or not, but we always appreciate that donation for network. And now we're going to start on page 78 of our prayer book. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Send out your light and your truth that they may lead me and bring me to your holy hill and to your dwelling. 
On page 79, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbors. Most, Most merciful God, God we, we confess, confess that, that we have, have sinned against you in thought, word, word and deed, by what we have done and by what we have, we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Keep us in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, now and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia. <clears throat> Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. And I lost my place. Come, let us adore him. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, we'll start with the Benighty on page 82. Psalm 95, the Benighty. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout to the, for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving. And, and raise a loud shout to him with songs. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, oh, that today would hearken to his voice. And our psalm <clears throat> this morning, psalm, give me that, I think. Oh, I'm sorry, no, we use the psalm right there. Psalm 38, 38 found on page 636 of your prayer book. Psalm 38, responsively by whole verse. <clears throat> Page 636. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me in your wrath. For your arrows have already pierced me, and your hand presses hard upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your indignation. There is no soundness in my body because of my sin. For my iniquities overwhelm me. Like a heavy burden, they are too much for me to bear. My wounds stink and fester by reason of my foolishness. I am utterly bowed down and prostrate. I go about in mourning all the day long. My loins are filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am utterly numb and crushed. I wail because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, you know all my desires, and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is pounding, my strength has failed me, and the brightness of my eyes is gone from me. My friends and companions draw back from my affliction. My neighbors stand afar off. Those who seek after my life lay snares for me. Those who strive to hurt me speak of my ruin and plot treachery all the day long. But I am like the deaf who do not hear, like those who are mute and do not open their mouth. I have become like one who does not hear, and from whose mouth comes no defense. For in you, O Lord, have I fixed my hope. You will answer me, O Lord our God. For I said, Do not let them rejoice at my expense, those who gloat over me when my foot slips. Truly, I am on the verge of falling, and my pain is always with me. I will confess my iniquity and be sorry for my sin. Those who are my enemies without cause are mighty, and many in number are those who wrongfully hate me. Those who repay evil for good slander me, because I follow the course that is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. Be not far from me, O my God. Make haste to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Glory, Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and will be forever. 
Amen. Our Old Testament reading today is from the book of Job, Job 12.1 and 14.1-22. This is the New Revised Standard Version. A reading from the book of Job. Then Job answered, A mortal born of woman, few of days and full of trouble, comes up like a flower and withers, flees like a shadow and does not last. Do you fix your eyes on such a one? Do you bring me into judgment with you? Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? No one can. Since their days are determined and the number of their months is known to you, and you have appointed the bounds that they cannot pass, look away from them and desist, that they may enjoy like laborers their days. For there is hope for a tree if it is cut down, that it will sprout again, and that its shoots will not cease. Though its root grows old in the earth and its stump dies in the ground, yet at the scent of water it will bud and put forth branches like a young plant. But mortals die and are laid low. Humans expire, and where are they? As waters fail from a lake and a river wastes away and dries up, so mortals lie down and do not rise again. Until the heavens are no more, they will not awake or be roused out of their sleep. Oh, that you would hide me in Sheol, that you would conceal me until your wrath is past, that you would appoint me a set time and remember me. If mortals die, will they live again? All the days of my service, <clears throat> I would wait until my release should come. You would call and I would answer you. You would long for the work of your hands. For then you would not number my steps. You would not keep watch over my sin. My transgression would be sealed up in a bag, and you would cover over my iniquity. But the mountain falls and crumbles away, and the rock is removed from its place. <clears throat> the waters wear away the stones. The torrents wash away the soil of the earth, so you destroy the hope of mortals. You prevail forever against them, and they pass away. You change their countenance and send them away. Their children come to honor, and they do not know it. They are brought low, and it goes unnoticed. They feel only the pain of their own bodies and mourn only for themselves. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> we'll continue on page 86 with the uh, second song of Isaiah, Canticle 10. The second song of Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found. Call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall from the heavens, and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed, and prosper in that for which I sent it. Glory to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the New Testament, from the book of Acts. In this portion of Acts, there's the uh, the section right before it would help understand this one, and that was when uh, Peter and the others were in jail. Uh, they were imprisoned at Herod's request, uh, and during the night, an angel of the Lord came and essentially walked Peter out of the prison uh, and brought him out of the city uh, and into the countryside. So that's kind of what sets <clears throat> this up. So when the morning came, there was no small commotion among the soldiers over what had become of Peter. When Herod had searched for him and could not find him, he examined the guards and ordered them to be put to death. 
Then he went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. Now Herod was angry with the people of Tyre and Sidon. So they came to him in a body, and after winning over Blastus, the king's chamberlain, they asked for a reconciliation, because their country depended on the king's country for food. On an appointed day, Herod put on his royal robes, took his seat on the platform, and delivered a public address to them. The people kept shouting, The voice of a god and not of a mortal. And immediately, because he had not given the glory to God, an angel of the Lord struck him down, and he was eaten by worms and died. But the word of God continued to advance and gain adherence. Then, after completing their mission, Barnabas and Saul returned to Jerusalem and brought with them John, whose other name was Mark. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> We are now going to say together Canticle 16, the second song of Zechariah on page 92 uh, of your prayer book, Canticle 16. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, Lord the God, God of Israel. Israel. He, has he has come, come to his people and set them free. free. He, he has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born into the house of his servant David. David. Through his, his holy prophets, prophets he promised of old that, that he would save, save us from our enemies from the hands of those who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways to give his people knowledge of salvation and by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us and to shine on those who dwell in darkness and in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our gospel reading for today is from John 8, 47 through 59. A reading from the book of John. Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. And the Jews answered him, Are we not right in saying that you are a Samaritan and have a demon? Jesus answered, I have not a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. Yet I do not seek my own glory. There is one who seeks it, and he is the judge. Very truly I tell you, whoever keeps my word will never see death. The Jews said to him, Now we know that you have a demon. Abraham died, and so did the prophets. Yet you say, Whoever keeps my word will never taste death. Are you greater than our father Abraham who died? The prophets also died. Who do you claim to be? Jesus answered, If I glorify myself, my glory is nothing. It is my Father who glorifies me, he of whom you say, He is our God, though you do not know him. But I know him. If I would say that I do not know him, I would be a liar like you. But I do know him, and I keep his word. Your ancestor Abraham rejoiced that he would see my day. He saw it and was glad. Then the Jews said to him, You are not yet fifty years old, and have you seen Abraham? Jesus said to them, Very, very truly I tell you, before Abraham was, I am. So they picked up stones to throw at him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow, angry crowd. Yes. <laughs> Hard to please. We'll continue on page 96 with the, uh, the words of the Apostles' Creed, professing our faith together. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I, I believe in Jesus Christ, Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He, he was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, 
was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray together. Our Father, who who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Before we say together suffrage B, we would ask that you enter prayers into the comment section. Um, we will extend specific prayers for them in a few minutes and know that everyone for whom we ask prayers is prayed for uh, throughout the week by our prayer team and by our staff. So we'll continue with suffrage B. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. On page 99, a collect for peace. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We are moving now to page 823. Prayer number 27 for, uh, for social justice. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease, that our divisions being healed, we may live together in justice and peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What did you go to? On page 824, in times of conflict, O God, you have bound us together in a common life. Help us in the midst of our struggles for justice and truth to confront one another without hatred or bitterness and to work together with mutual forbearance and respect through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. What was the other one back there? Is it this one? Yeah. On page 827, prayer number 39, for those who influence public opinion. Almighty God, you proclaim your truth in every age by many voices. Direct in our time, we pray, those who speak where many listen and write what many read, that they may do their part in making the heart of this people wise its mind sound, and its will righteous, to the honor of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord God Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity, and that in all we do direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. O God, you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom. 
through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And we switch books right now. We will go uh, anticipating a Labor Day weekend, which may or may not find people uh, on the road or outdoors laboring. We're due for several days of rain, so there may be much labor in the uh, in the yards and fields ahead of us as we uh, over Labor Day weekend coming off. But hymn number 541. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, 3, and 5. <clears throat> Come labor on, and who dare stand idle on the harvest plain? While all around us waves the golden grain, and to each servant does the master say, Go work today. Come labor on, the enemy is watching night and day. So the tears to snatch the seed away While we in sleep our duty have forgot He slumbered not Come labor on away with gloomy doubts and faithless fear. No arms so weak as may do service here. By feeblest agents may our God fulfill His righteous will. Come labor Time for rest till glows the western sky till the long shadows o'er our pathway lie and the glad sound comes with the setting sun servants well done Returning to our prayer books. Oh, we do prayers now. Mm -hmm. We do prayers now. So, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Heavenly Father, we gather together before you this morning with thanks for the rain, for the cooler weather, with thanks for your life-giving and healing presence within us and among us. We ask that you continue to bless those who are on the front lines of fighting this horrid virus that is moving among us. We ask that you give wisdom and direction to those who are making decisions for how our country will move forward, how the virus will be fought, and how social justice will be achieved so that all your children are viewed as one by all your other children. We ask that you be with Kathleen this morning as she has an interview for a job in Maine. We ask that you be with our nephew Christian as he searches for a job. We ask you to be with all those who are nervous and, and anxious over the, their situation or their loved ones in these troubled times, troubling times. We also ask that you give us an increased awareness of the glimpses of joy that are around us everywhere. The cooler weather, the brightness of the green that is flourishing in our neighborhoods, the, um, the glint of a smile that we see on a Facebook post or a friend's picture that is sent to us. Uh, there are so many causes for joy that uh, we sometimes overlook them. So help us to be aware of those 
uh, as we go through our day. And he has specifics. And for today's specific prayers, healing for Caleb Lockwood and June Sullivan. And thanksgiving for the rain. Yeah. Yeah. And any others that you care to offer uh, on your own uh, or in the comment section. As I said, the comments are being, uh, will be watched and will be added to our prayer list. Um, and yes, welcome home to Kathleen. Thank you, Kay. And we're at, we can't see him right now, but George the cat came to join us while we were singing, so yeah. that was kind of fun. He's sitting <laughs> next to Jeff over there. <laughs> so we'll continue on page 101 with a general thanksgiving, which seems appropriate right now, because there is much to be thankful for. Almighty God, God, Father of all mercies, mercies we, your unworthy servants, servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, our preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thanks for visiting mm -hmm. with us today. Enjoy the extra cool and have a wonderful Wednesday. We love you guys.